Hello everyone, welcome to the stream, nice to see you here. I hope you had a good day. General 9000, welcome as well. And yeah, it's pretty late already, but I thought I need to stream. Was I definitely worked a little bit too long on my script today. Was doing uh, quite a bit of work for a new law video on the channel. And as a result, of course, uh, yeah, now we have a little bit less time for streaming. So I thought, what could we do? We still have these uh, missions here in Cyberpunk that I have to complete before Phantom Liberty comes out. So I'm doing those. It's not very interesting, to be fair. It's just going to these NP uh, to these reported crime things, shooting all the people, reading the logs, and that's basically it. But um, it's kind of relaxing and I really like cyberpunk, so that is definitely something, I guess. Problem is, I have to look up which save game last time was I, I wrote in, uh, I, I hard saved. I think I didn't create a new one, just want to make sure. Let me see. Chris saves here. It should be number. Five hundred seventy six. Okay. That's a safe game number. I think I didn't do any recordings for Cyberpunk in the meantime, so it should be the safe game on top. But yeah, I have to double check this as well at times. This I answered, okay. Love to hear um, that you're working on a law video, those are the best. Yeah, it will be um, the 10th episode of Who is Elrond? And I call it the prelude to The Hobbit, because this is basically everything that happens before The Hobbit. Then The Hobbit starts and we slowly get to the end. I'm not sure if it's one or two more episodes after that to really complete the whole story of Elrond with it. But yeah, I, I try to get as far. So this is 576. We load this here up and shoot a few people. As always. <laughs> I mean, we could stealth as well, but to be fair, usually... It's not worth the effort. We also run with path tracing. You hear the cat. We found the cat as well. We have Mr. Uh, Iguana here. Petting at the end, that was funny. So yeah, pass tracing, we have quite a few mods activated. We have, a, for example, a flashlight mod, which I kind of like. We also have like teleport options and time manipulation things. I don't care too much about at this point. Yeah, I think we are good. We can also use a fast travel point. Is there anything we need to sell here? That's cyberware. Backpack is what I was looking for, right? This, this. Okay, these two, maybe we can place them here in the thing. Maybe you should consider just reading the Tolkien books on YouTube, like an audiobook. You have a good voice to do so. Thank you, much appreciated. Though, I have to admit, I'm always not too happy with my own voice, but that's always like your own shock. The problem is, though, so, um, copyright is a problem. Some people do this, and I, I assume the sometimes the um, publishers of the books kind of tolerate it, but officially it's uh, it's illegal to do so without having um, a license for that. So, in theory, I would get into... I get a copyright strike territory, which I don't want to get, so I can't do this on my channel. I mean, it, it works as long as people don't, or the publishers uh, don't bother. And then it becomes a problem, of course. So, first of all, we need to establish or to find out where we need to go. So, we have cleared, I think, in this area here, we have cleared pretty much everything. At least I don't see any crime reports 
I think we even yeah, here still one left. Okay, good to know. Here we have three left. So let's go here. This is this is Jig Jig Street. Yeah, this is Jig Jig Street. There's a there's an assault in progress. Okay, let's see. Usually, what happens there? It's a bit unfortunate that the missions are designed like this. It, it's bit. They become a bit boring and very repetitive after a time, even though they always have some interesting story bits that try to connect the world. But it's always, you get there, the, usually the hostages also are already dead. Then you kill the bad guys who were just about to leave this area, as you find out in the um, locks. And then you get a bit of money and that's basically it, I guess. So, it is, uh, yeah, often not that interesting. Nonetheless, uh, we do them anyway. Yeah, copyright m uh, might uh, be a thing. Yeah, yeah. It's always... Always a problem. The game is so beautiful. Always like looking at stuff. I also show my settings here in case people are interested in those it is last time as well but you can see we have pass tracing activated everything pretty much on high ultra I as a result I need performance DLSS else I don't get even close to 60 FPS and we won't hit 60 FPS very often if I would deactivate pass tracing though it, sh it would work perfectly fine who are those people tiger claws Well, that that looks like it hurt. We of course don't like the tiger claws. That's why we always shoot them. Whenever we can, it's just something personal. Man, those tiger claws are just insanely terrible people. Okay. I mean, ev pretty much everybody in the city is can be considered terrible people. It's simply how it is. Are there more tiger claws? Yes. We do a little quick save here. I assume this is... Yeah, here's our mission started. We are... We're max level already. So this looks like a police officer or something. Or a security person? Or maybe it's just a normal person. I don't know. So we have some archived conversations here, which we will um, look into in a moment. Uh, I tried to loot this pistol here, which is not easy. A bit headless. Yeah, this is definitely a policeman. So the police was here. As we see, police car here. I mean, always the details are kind of fitting. What I would like, though, is you can scan these persons, these, these um, predefined uh, corpses here you can't identify. This guy here also has a name who might appear in the, in the log. Let us read the log. Archive conversation Osamu uh, Gosho and Hideo Nishio. Hideo, I need you to go... I need you to go hurt some pigs. <laughs> the sentence didn't make sense in my head for a moment. Remind them where they uh, where the turf ends and our begin where that turf ends and ours begins. Sure thing. Uh, Wedgwood got it. Okay. So he was sent because somebody did something. It's a territory territorial dispute, you could call it. Oh, there's a weapon. Let's loot the police person here. If it is even a police person. Oh, we got a perk point for that. 
Archive Patrol, NCT, NCPD, Night City Police Department, Dispatch, calling all units in Westbrook. I repeat, calling all units in Westbrook. Sergeant Max Smith, seven, uh, 2891 reporting, 1020 Westbrook. Head to Redwood Street in, Jap uh, in Japantown, order to increase our presence in the area coming from the chief. Japantown alone requesting additional units for backup. Request denied. That is kind of strange, isn't it? So the chief orders Max Smith, Sergeant Max Smith, to go there pretty much alone or with just one officer. That is strange. This some pre-election stunt? That's tiger turf. Are you refusing to comply? 2891, come in and res uh, and respond. Negative. Order accepted, will comply. F in chief. Say again. <laughs> 2891, <laughs> say again. Fuck, nothing, nothing. Copy that. We had another mission, interestingly, where some police officers were sent. Maybe also by, a chi by, by some higher up in the police thing. I remember this having found out this last time. So he sent some police people who were a bit too eager in their job and um, there was an ambush by, I don't know, I think Maelstrom or something and there they got killed and just we found the corpses. I can't, can pick up the body, the headless body I should say. The police person here I can't really interact with. That's very unfortunate. But that was basically the mission. Not that too, not, not very spectacular. Okay, this mission we got. Next mission is this here and then the other one. Have fun. Uh, may need to go to sleep now, but uh, always a pleasure to see you um, being busy. Keep it up. Yeah, thank you much. Appreciate it. Wish you a good night. I also can't stream that long today, so can already spoil. This might be a shorter stream. Because, uh, yeah, it's also quite late for me. What are you doing over there? Oh, a new car we bought, I think, last time. I have to say, I'm not the hugest fan of the flag on top of it. Though I think it's it might be a reference. I didn't look it up last time. It might be a reference to... What was the series called? Dukes of Hazard? Let me just see if we can find if this is even true. Dukes of Hazard... Show... The Dukes of Heaven, yeah. That's a one, a one at this side. It is a Duke of Heaven reference, okay. So let me, let me get out of the car. I can maybe show you the reference, because last time I forgot. Let me see if I find a show screenshot. A lot of screenshots here, but none from the show. Why is it so difficult to find, like, the perfect screenshot of this nonsense? 
I haven't watched the show. I think I'm not even sure if it ran here in Germany. I'm completely honest. Whatever. I just take a random screenshot, so that should be uh, enough in my opinion. Let me just get a window up that helps me to show this a little bit better here to you on screen. I mean, maybe the US people here might know the show anyway. This should work. So yeah, this is the car from the show. There were two brothers, I think. They were the Dukes, that was, I think, their last name. And they had adventures with this car in their place and a lot of car chasing stuff happening. You see, there's the, the, the one on this particular car. They have this certain, um, what is it called, confederate flag on, on top, which is potentially, <laughs> these days, also kind of a controversial topic at times. But let's not dive into this. And yeah, in the game, now oh, I have to somehow learn how to close this window again. Yeah, that should do the trick. Yeah, but as you can see here in in game, it also has the zero one on it. It has the same color. It looks the car kind of looks a bit differently, but both are kind of muscle car esque, and it also has um, a flag on top. So yeah, it's a clear reference to that show. Of interesting. So let us think about things. We go here, right? Yeah, we have to go somewhere over that at some point. I hope sound is good, chat. Quick save and let us see what we get here. Now oh, I have to get up there. Hmm, some cash. We got legendary item components, chat. Nice. Another hacker. There's a second hacker we find that is hacked like an... No, not the second, the third. I don't know how many. We found multiple, I think, by this time. Kandechi micro info lock. Gig. So he, he took a gig from, I don't know, the afterlife or whatever. Let us read this gig type. Data theft. Brandon Holt's home sub subnet. Who was Brandon Holt? Hmm. Got a political gig for... Oh, isn't this Holt not the, the police chief? Or is it maybe some politician in the city? I forgot. Uh, got a political gig for you. Client wants data from the home subnet of Brandon Holt. You know the last name. He's uh, Weldon's cousin. So he's a cousin candidate for mayor. So he's the mayor's candidate cousin. Okay, okay, got that. Uh, looks like it's a family business. Brandon's on Weldon's campaign staff. Seems this Holt also likes to visit Mexico and have a little dirty fun there from time to time. Apparently he records his little adventures. My client would like to see those recordings. Thinks they could... Uh, thinks they could be 
very interesting. So grab uh, them for him. And he got, I assumed, while hacking, he got killed by the drone. And actually, micro 76 info, blah, 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 a lot of numbers. Nine three eight seven folder Mexico twenty seventy three to twenty seventy seven JK Law nineteen file open mine listen file download mine listen auto response anti personal uh, warning such <laughs> a fatal error eighteen four six six I O one O ten who knows R D Oh, it says soul. There's maybe like a soul killer or something thing that happened here. Unfortunately, can't identify the person, which is a bit unfortunate. This system here, yeah, they need complete. This needs complete rework. It's not. Showing us who is he, um, who, who gave him the gig, though. All we know is he died up here. Potentially this drone here, a Griffin drone, Militech. So Militech kind of sent a drone that killed our friend here while hacking. That's what I assume. Or oh, it checked, it double checked it and he got like detected and fried or something like that while being in the subnet. In the cyber net, whatever they call it here. Okay, that was our mission here. Next gig would be here. Oh, here's also a gig. This is new. Maybe this is part of it. Sometimes that is the case that there are like multiple sections you have to visit or you maybe unlock new ones as well. We go here. Yeah, we just drive there, right? No need to do too much stuff here. Police. Let's save and see what's going on here. Mailstorm people are here. Yeah, Mailstorm we also don't like. Or a lot. Oh, interesting. They killed Tiger Claws. Okay, we have some weird effects going on here. Can we pick up the body and fix this blood stain there? Nope. A bit unfortunate. It's rarely happening though. Zealots. Goom.
Also the no names. No loot. Frag grenades, re and archive commodity. Carl and Molly. Who are Carl and Molly, chat? Okay, conversation, Carl and Molly. Carl, we got a mark on Tanya with the tigers. She betrayed us, slinging splinters. She's running for them now, Mol. Molly, shit. And here I'm sending out people worried something happened to the stupid cunt. Effin Tanya. Uh, ducking, sir. F in zero her. Chill, we got this. Yo, we got her. Says we don't kill her, she give us some intel data worth something. F that can't, I want her I want her head. I'll rip the data out myself. Wipe the F in can't and make her an example to the rest. I know that wasn't red in a very <laughs> Expressive thing, but I'm very tired, so forgive me that. So, what I read between the lines is that the quest giver felt betrayed. Archive conversation, Tanya and Andre. Listen, I don't deal for Maelstrom, Maelstrom anymore. As of yesterday, I run for the claws. That wise, honestly, not scared. They pay me more, way more. New apartment types of more and protection. Be a um, lead head not to take a. Uh, be a lead head. Wait, we have to look this up. I always confuse how this metal is pronoun name is pronounced. So the Cambridge Dictionary. Verb, verb, verb. Maybe it's written differently. No, that is winning position is the lead. Here it is. It's pronounced lead. lead. Chemical element. Short PB, Latin for plumbum or whatever it is. How oh, funny that I remembered that. So, be a lead hand to not take advantage. Hope you are white. Right. Wait and see why they hit you uh, up anyway. Connections and I'll be their bridge. So, I mean, it's a classic case from they betray Tanya betrayed them and then they came for revenge. So it's not too unusual. Here we got, though, um, a crafting spec as a reward, which kind of spawns at times. It's a bit strange. It should be in this thing here. I don't know. Maybe it was bugged before. Who knows? Okay, so Tiger Claw nonsense exterminated. Same with the other weird persons. Question is should I go back to my car? Who are these? Veteran Guard. Smoldering iron. Not sure what these people are doing while they're terrorizing people. It's funny. It's an Arasaka robot. Just to make sure it's really dead. You guys are lucky because you are not tiger claws. So I just tranquilize you guys. See? He's still alive. Sometimes I feel like almost a very nice guy. I think he's also alive. His eyes are open. I think sometimes they blink when they're still alive. Maybe he's bugged though. 
but he's breathing, so that's kind of helping. So we don't accidentally kill him while we put him down on the ground. He blinked. No idea who these people were, but... Stop being annoying. Okay. Backpack. Um, we eat something really quick, so I don't have to, to heal consistently. We got very little. They were very low level, I think, because we get, got so little damage. Let's eat a burrito, which we have a bazillion of. Drink something. Now we have the buff, and now we heal from uh, this stuff. Ah, here's a fancy clothing shop in the city. I remember being here reloading, or not reloading, but um, skipping time ahead five billion times to get um, stuff. Bonk. Maybe a bit excessive. Militech, also terrible people. I think, I mean, the Valentinos can also be pretty terrible people, but usually that's the only gang I don't kill because of Jackie. Then is another gang I don't kill. I really have to think for a moment. No, I think it's only the Valentinos. Voodoo's I kill. Maybe hide a moment. Okay, so who are you? Veteran guard, huh? You hit me so hard. Yes, somebody somewhere here. Oh, Thank God, everybody. I'll be careful. If I hit them twice with my thing, they die. Ah, oh, these beautiful puddles here with the reflections in it, so awesome. Even you, you see the light bouncing off this thing here to the ground and it's slightly pink or reddish. Past tracing is just so awesome. Target for elimination. Let's read this here. And so I I think it's wrong. Uh, contract payment sta status paid in full. Target Rick Morales. Uh, profession techie tunnel construction. Associated with the Alde Caldos. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. The Alde Caldos is the gang of, uh, in this game, the girlfriend of mine, uh, which is Pan Am. She is also of the Al Alde Caldos. I even have an Alde Caldos jacket. Biometric data. Height, 5 foot 10. Stress response. Highly nervous. Target is hypersensitive. Risk of impulsive behavior. Skin tone light. Contract. Basis. Theft of uh, property. 
proprietary proprietary business information on the construction of a, uh, of a Makalev tunnel sale to third parties. Well, that means death. Uh, that, that must be our my Alecaldo friend, though. Rick and unknown. Thank you, Mr. AMD, for making weird updates in the background. Okay, we find a gun. Here's also a gun. Some missions. $800. Target elimination. Tiny tunnel payment. Souls paid in full. Archived conversation. So who, who did our friend here for clan sell stuff to? Okay, Rick and unknown, whoever that is. No, too low. By how much? Double it. For one measly shard. You don't like it? Go in the tunnel yourself. Find a way through. And I know you are with... Uh, and I know you are with the Alicaldos. Not like you are hard up. I don't know who is the Alicaldos. Who is with the Alicaldos? You're an Alicaldo too. I was. Dead or not, deal. Uh, deal or not deal okay this might be s who could this be soul or so who wrote to him who you're an Aldi Caldo too I know you're with the Aldi Caldo's not like you are hard up he was an ex Aldi Caldo still I'm not a fan of just executing people I mean I do this all the time but I'm the player I can do this. You can't. So somebody finding this in this case. The question is. A lot of music's going on here. Silence, finally. We found all the speakers. Okay, we got this as well. Here is also something. Did we over oh yes another thing. Maybe this popped up new. I could imagine another circle of hell. Find Dante's den. I would have to look through all of this here. Maybe I have to blend out everything and just get the NCD NCPD scanner stuff here. I don't know. I thought about what else we could play today. 
for a moment I thought, yeah, how about good old, um, what's it called, Diablo maybe, also a possibility, but I thought, well, it's kind of fun still, I really like driving through this game here, and looking at everything, always, I can't believe how beautiful this game looks at sometimes, just... So impressive to me what they um, did visually. Let me just check something real quick. Okay. Quick save. Who am I kidding? We will definitely shoot somebody. No, we won't. We have to find the den. Dante. Was this a hacker or something? Dante was the hacker, I assume. Looks like a cyberware hacker thing. Street smart. What is street smart? Skill chart, breach protocol. Messages. Dante Cheng Hun Nam. Dante writes a message. To Dante Zero. Uh, what do you mean? Where? Answer. Oh my god, Dante. I know what to do. I really don't. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Feeling alone tonight? Okay, this is a spam mail. Do we still have, by the way... Do we have stock that we can sell? There's also a mod, by the way. It's pretty fun. No, I don't have... I did not buy into any stocks. We could give it a try. Probably it's a bit too risky. It's over a day only, huh? And then it could be a downwards trend that continues. Outside of that, some residents are noted Pacifica. And CPD, police, economy still going strong. That's good. Vehicle boom. Do you think they still make more, chat? Trauma team. It seems like we have a Rayfield car. Multiple, actually. Mm, this is pretty hard to predict. Now what, we just try this here. I forgot to click on buy, right? I 
we have this here. Okay. Okay, we got the money. Found the den. I'm not sure what's whose den this here might be. If Dante might be the hacker we found. I'm not 100 sure on that. And we could try figure check out the, the chart again. Kendachi micro <laughs> start. Brandon Holt, Tigers, Gig. Doesn't say Dante though here in the thing. Go to the column. Barium in North Oak to find R. J. Griffin's urn. Oh, this is a follow-up um, mission, actually. So some of these missions seem to be definitely more complex, like this one. I remember that was a mission we did last stream, or the stream before that. Or maybe not. I, I could be wrong, though. Because in my mind... Um, there was like a mission where somebody got into trouble because he had a urn and couldn't pay anymore or something and he couldn't get to the urn or so. I forgot what it was exactly. But something like this. So we have to drive to the cemetery that is this, this column, Borarium, whatever it's called. And it's pretty far off if you want to drive there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Of course, this guy there had to be exactly where I needed to drive. Same with this dude. And over that is already this grey column thing. I have to admit I'm always not sure where the entrance is, but I think it's here. Oh, he's a Valentino, it's kind of funny. I mean, I like the Valentinos, but they also do a lot of stupid stuff. Roy Betty, that's kind of funny. Blade Runner reference. And um, it's behind this building it seems I won't buy it. very curious what we might find here what was in his Fuck. better check it out <laughs> who exactly are you people Tyler Brown 
Mercenary, we have no affiliation. Carnage, shotgun. Copied message. Complete all gigs and NCP scanner um, hustles in Watson. Who did this? Copy message. Dear Mr. Yeah, it was Mr. Griffin. I remember the name from the last thing. We did. Of course, we would be happy to fit you in. Uh, I would just like to let you know that our full skin transplantation and face facial reconstruction plus genetic camouflage voice recalibration treatment will take about 12 hours and is carried out under full anesthesia. Do not consume alcohol or any psychoactive substances for 24 hours before the procedure. Thank you and see you soon, Dr. Jacobson. So Mr. Griffin tried to get a new identity with kind of this. Tyler and Adam. So archived conversation, Tyler and Adam. I had a word with our mutual friend and he didn't want to talk at first. After four fingers, he began to have doubts. After nine, he was begging me to stop, but I thought it uh, a waste to stop with only one left. Ha! Of course, your OCD couldn't take it. I finally got those coordinates, heading there immediately. The rest, easy now. You have your money, wonderful, really Tyler, excellent work at your service. Are you Tyler? Oh, he was Tyler. Who are you? What did he do? Slender against corporation, assaulting an first degree murder, hostage taking. Yeah, okay. Doesn't sound too nice, these people. Good that they are right at the cemetery. What is this? Oh, uh, it's, it's um, what do you call the broom? It's inside this wall. It's kind of funny. It was the no clip mod, in case people wonder. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. And some information and kill those people. Awesome. Now we did all the missions in Watson, it seems. Got an achievement even for that. Oh, the Westbrook, not Watson. This is Watson. Oh, do we, let me just check the achievement list here really quick, chat. No, that was part of Watson. Interesting. That's why we didn't get the Watson achievement. Very interesting. Okay, where do we go next? Next is Badlands, it seems. Yeah, we also have some left. Here's one left, interestingly. How did I overlook this? Or is this maybe just popped up recently? Here's another one.
You moron. Drive a little bit further to the other side so I can weasel my way through this. But no, he had to do this. Drive close to the mid. Okay, we have to go A complicated um, travel pass. I mean, so we have to tranquilize them first. Oh, God. Not good. He didn't die immediately. I hoped I could stay a little bit longer in stealth. Why is this one guy so so tanky? Like I can't just one tap him, like the other guys. That always brings me out of um, into into combat. Would have preferred to. I mean, I guess it's easier to do it maybe like this. Grab kill, non-lethal takedown. Probably the easiest way to do. I just took there. Better. Okay, they were also pretty busy executing people here. How much can we carry? Uh oh, we're pretty close to maximum carry load. It's not good. Who are you guys? Veteran guards. Okay. What happened to this person here? 
Okay, it pro she potentially fell into this pile of wheels and then things got messy. Oh, this guy's still alive. And he's also a veteran guard. So, oh, just, just to get our mobility back, we maybe have to destroy a few guns here. What is this here? I hate this so much. Okay, we just destroyed a bunch of things, now we can move normally again. Well, that's not helping. <laughs> Everything. What do we have inside this year? And CPD thing. Why are all these people dead? Okay, so what is this guy saying? Archive conversation, Bernie McCollum and Billy Jackson. So, what's up, Chum? Get your shit and go to the junkyard. You get to wipe whatever was left of my car. Chum, they will wreck it there. Whole point of a junkyard. Look, just go. Got a tip from an NCPD, Chum. They are sending some gong to go check um, the car out. Anyways, if... If it's still there, you know what to do. Effin Badges got it in for me. Billy Jackson. Okay. And another thing completed. Skinner Hustles in Santo Domingo, whatever the area is called. Let me just double check. Wasn't prepared for... Yeah, it's, actually, it's actually the capital of... Um, the Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo, so the same name of this particular part, the jungle. We have Pacifica, we have Watson, we have this, not sure of what other stuff we have. So achieve uh, archive conversa conversation NCPD number 98403 and NCPD 239. NCT NCT NCPD officer 98403. Officer 98403 reporting. NCB Lieutenant 9239. Uh, I hate these numbers. Head to the junkyard and grab the onboard computer from Billy Jackson's vehicle. But hurry before they destroy everything. Our rocker boy went from a drunk joyride on the sidewalk, hit a crowd of people. Now we need. S well, rocker boy went for a drunk joyride on the sidewalk. Hit a crowd of people. Now we need uh, something to put him behind bars. Real effing artist. Tone deaf hack couldn't even effing sing. Uh, nothing I hate worse than those effers. They hum a little tune and think they can do whatever they want. Well, here's your chance. To show Jackson he ain't above the law. Go to the junkyard. Order that on my way. Questions Who is Officer Who? He's just a security guard. Veteran guard. Veteran guard. An ashtray, awesome. Who are you? Veteran guard. We found these veteran guards. They're around this, this car here, which they wanted to destroy. The question is, which people did they kill here? I have to admit, I don't fully get the exact problem here. 
who's who. I would expect police here, but we don't see any police officers. Maybe they were undercover. Maybe these were the two police officers they sent an undercover or something and they were shot. Don't we really look like police officers to be well, to be fair. We have a. I think this is one of the melee tech vehicles. Well, maybe it's not a melee tech one because it's. Oh, Deckard. It's because I had the number, uh, the license plate uh, um, pack thing. Yeah, my car should also have Deckard on it. It has a license plate at all. No, it doesn't. So it's maybe just specific cars that where the license plate got replaced with Deckard for my um, Sprinter. But I currently I don't have the flying mod activated because it sometimes causes trouble with uh, sound. Wait, where is somebody who we actually killed by accident because reasons? What? what who was horning here so hard? I don't get it. Maybe there was like a hint or so, or some secret going on. Maybe somebody wanted to get past this car, I don't know. It confused me. But we got um, also Santo Domingo, which is, I assume, this place here. Yeah, this is Santo Domingo. We got all the, we got the achievement to do all the police missions here. This here is Pacifica. We did also that. Haywood. I'm not sure if I have all Haywood missions, but it looks almost like it. Maybe there's some follow-up mission which we haven't done yet. Or maybe there are even some that we haven't triggered because I didn't do all the Haywood missions. Because I simply don't like to do the pilot missions because they are usually um, role-playing... Um, from a role-playing perspective. Oh, Birchman's here. Welcome. I didn't look at chat for a moment. So um, I'm doing very good. How are you doing? Wished I stre uh, I didn't write so long on my script today for the next law video, so I could have played more video games. Wait, here is a follow-up quest popping up. Or something. But yeah, currently doing all the side missions, uh, the NCPD mini missions, uh, whatever you want to call them in Cyberpunk. Maybe we need a faster car to get back where we were. I uh, missed the... I uh, pressed the wrong button. Mr. Car, where are you going? <laughs> I had a lot of fun uh, with friends in Age of Empires 2 today. Okay, that sounds also awesome. I had a lot of... I was visiting, um, what do you call it, an amusement park with roller coasters and stuff recently was also a lot of fun. Okay, I w the game wants me to go here. Didn't look at the map. Didn't pay too much attention where to go. It was a lot of fun as well, I have to admit. I really like roller coaster stuff. Wasn't in that park for some time. A lot is going uh, on this week. I can't read and drive at the same time in my life. Both good and stressful. 
Well, at least when it's good and something for sure. Read, drive, look where to go. It's too many things at once. And I have a little bit more right, man. Oh god, frame rate. 26 FPS, not good. Wow. But the release uh, of Baldur's Gate 3 is what I'm looking uh, forward right now. Pretty hyped for it. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm also... I already um, uh, I already bought it. So I will definitely also play it. I can't promise though. The problem with this game is it, it seems to me so massive and big that um, I, I don't even know where to find the time to ever finish it, if that makes sense. I'm pretty sure I will like it. The question is... It, it's kind of intimidating, you know what I mean? If a game is too big that you feel like I have no time to ever play this. And I have still so many games I also want to play. Like the um, Cyberpunk DLC when it comes out in September. Then um, besides that also... Um, let me just think. Cyberpunk DLC, um, potentially Armored Core. I still have to play through Zelda, which um, is the reason why I don't play it that often. It's pretty much the same, it's just too big. Yeah, it will be um, a lot. Yeah, I know, but there's something um, in it that seems like um, the open world is really living. Yeah, I could imagine that. I mean, I really like... Uh, like the Divinity games already. So let's find out who these people are. Ugh, I hate this. Every time, why does Alt and Shift have to switch my keyboard layout? Like, it's so frustrating because the Z button then switches to the United States keyboard. And then I can't... Um, I need the Z button at times to switch this here around. So it's a Tiger Claw. That's good because... Spoiler, we hate the Tiger Claws. They're terrible people. So I don't even... Go for... Oh, I could have just not killed him. No. We just shoot everybody and be gone with it. Uh, where's the other person? Oh, here you are. And last one, I said, you must also think, hey, what's, what's hitting this wall here? You have the strange German layout. Is, is the layout not also different for you people in, for, in Poland? I mean, instead of control, we have um, STRG. Control in German means Steuerung, and that is why it's uh, the 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 uh, it's, it's the, the the letters are different. So it's not control, it's Steuerung, STRG. Germans like to translate everything. Though to be fair, Germans also did some pretty um, important computer development pioneer stuff. So at least something, I guess. The, the main problem is we have Ö, Ü and Ä, so we need these buttons on the keyboard. And um, in German, you never need Y as a letter. So that's the reason why the Z key is where the Y key is. Because you never need Y in German, so it doesn't need such a prominent position. So Y and Z are switched. I mean, I know this, but it's, it kind of it annoys me. We've got the same as English. That's interesting. Do you have a lot of Y's that you use in Polish? You also have some other letters, right? Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I guess you have a lot of other letters as you just post it, right? The alt plus things. We only have the, um, as we call it, the sharp S, which looks like, I don't know, a Greek beta of sorts. Though it's a combination of, um, in the old writing style, the S and the Z, but let's not go into that. Yeah, and, and the umlauts. Umlaute. Exactly that one. Those we need. Oh, I didn't. I put a question. The 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 question mark is is also on the same letter as the sharpest S or the sharp S. Okay, so um, I think we got everybody here. Oh, we have an interesting little bug here. Tiger claws. Yeah, I hate those. I forgot to do stuff. I have to do inventory with chat. This here we might not need. This year and this year we also don't need. Should give us some 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 room here. Conversation. I almost felt like I heard somebody talking. The materials. I hope I finish both here before um, Phantom Liberty. Yeah, that m might be a challenge, I think. It looks pretty cool here. I could imagine this looks completely a uh, different. What I'm kind of wondering, shouldn't we see, even though we have pass tracing activated, yeah, here we see the the reflection weirdly enough of this um, red light, but we don't see it here directly behind us. I assume the reflection here is not a uh, pass trace. I don't. We see it actually. It is uh, the angle is simply wrong. That's that's it. Here you see it also slightly. Okay. Said nothing. Just wondered. Let's check what is behind this door here. Nothing. I right, hear we also shot somebody. Unpleasant, unpleasant position. Yeah, it reflects upwards, I think you are right. This we looted here already. Uh, this person here, I overlooked. It's a bit annoying, I have to admit. I have to, I have to go sell stuff really quick after this mission here. Hmm. 
Hmm, I was curious to to see what changes when I turn off this here. Mm, not really anything here. It looks pretty much the same. I could turn off ray tracing completely. Now it looks actually different. Like the reflections are not that strong anymore. You see a bit of red reflection here, but it's completely off. Let me just fly up a little bit so we get the angle a bit better. Here we see a bit of the red light reflection, very interesting. Yeah, here you see, now you see the red light reflection. This is screen space reflection because the red light on the other side is on my screen here to the left. If I move the camera in a way, you see it slowly gets less and if, if I'm not looking anymore, it is not on the screen space and so the reflection vanishes, which is uh, kind of interesting to see. I assume that this reflection is also from this side here, potentially, and it's some, some artifact of that. Or maybe there's another light that kind of does wrong. But see, now the reflection is there, now it's gone. Screen space reflections, classic. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool, this stuff. Now if I turn it on though, it's always there because it's correctly rendered. Pretty awesome technology. As I find gets a lot more immersive in Ray Overdrive, yeah, for sure, especially the dark corners where the developers didn't put in enough, or not enough is the wrong, for, is wrong, but not, not could not put in the work to make it look as good even on rasterization or ray tracing. And this is completely fixed by with, with past tracing. Didn't know um, how that worked. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. And there are multiple ways how reflections work. For example, cube maps, it's like a cube that you do and you reflect the cube. The cube has basically a screenshot in all directions of this thing and then it um, just gets reflected everywhere. But uh, very common for this closed space reflections like we see, this is now past tracing though, is uh, the screen space reflection. And it only can ref it only can do a reflection of what you see on the screen currently. It's kind of then seen in the reflect very very impressive thing. Like a screen screen space reflection can can look very good, but it's, if you have like these edge cases where you walk so that this the red light is not on screen anymore, like here we see these see it very slightly. It's probably hard to see in the stream in the car. We see this reflection still here from this angle now as a red line um, and with screen space reflections would only appear if um, I would look like this and this would be on screen but now with pass tracing it's completely fixed it's kind of cool Also, I explained this a little bit in the um, past tracing video I made on the games channel in case you are interested. I show maybe even more, a better example. Oh, here I didn't loot this guy. Okay, so let's see what the um, conversation is that we get from here. We get a recon grenade and an achievement. We have done all the missions in Westbrook. Archive conversation, Kaneto Saito. Kaneto Saito says, there's an order for some BD gear, so Brandon's gear. So we better effing deliver, right? And it's got to go smooth, doesn't it? Plan is, you grab all the truck with the BD scrollers and gear. I'll be able, uh, it'll, no, oh, it will all be right by Fourth Wall Studio. What? It'll all be right by Fourth Wall Studio? I don't get the sense, but whatever. 
it'd all be right for a fourth wall studio just sitting there asking to be taken. You go tomorrow, take down the guards, but do not hit the truck. Gear's got to be in mint condition. Let me remind you, this is some top shelf shit. All it needs is a few scratches and it'll be, it will be worth shit. Okay, so it's a classic, we steal brain dance um, stuff here. We got this dead eye thing that we now can craft. It's kind of interesting that you get these crafting things and they always lie around when you complete these missions. I assume this has to, maybe this was added or I have some mod that kind of breaks it. Usually it should be in this bag here, I think, the things. And that's also why, I, like I had to farm these things all the time. Um, previously to, to get like buy clothes where the things were in it or find or buy it at a vendor. We cycled through it for hours to get all the stuff. But here, um, it seems like we could have just gotten the, the crafting spec. It's just in these NCPD missions I never did. Kind of you know, unfortunate in a way. Now we don't need it anymore. And we're now we're doing it, right? CD, E9, uh, 55, E9, and 1C. That's one mm -hmm. see. Roomy chat. There's no five five in the last row. That's so unfortunate. Uh, is a new patch out or it will be soon? There was a hot fix recently. The new, the, you mean the very big patch for Phantom Liberty will be not earlier, I said in, I said in the video, I think then 8 September or something like this or 12 September. So it will still take some time. There was like a recent patch, but um, it comes out later. So it's still on uh, 1.63 plus hot fix. The hotfix did not get a separate version number, for whatever reason, I don't know why. Fixed like some weird bug. The modders were not pleased with these con- like, last patch also had a hotfix, and modders always have to um, then, the for the utility mods have to, to, to um, uh, what do you call it, adjust their mods to fit with these versions, and sometimes, yeah, they, they were not pleased when this hotfix dropped, like they, really made sure that uh, in, in like a day or two the, the utility mods were updated so the mods and stuff worked again. Because of so many mods rely on those utility mods. This is a weird effect here sometimes that this gets so wide. I don't know why that is. Are we correct settings still? Yes. Yeah, repair one thing, break five others, it's kind of like this. Let's see where we can maybe sell. Mm, we can't. Uh, we got the achievement for this here. Little Tokyo. So I got the following achievements. I think I got it, yeah, I got them today. So we got It's Elementary, complete all gigs and NCPD scanner hustles in Watson. We did this. The Jungle, complete all gigs and NCTB, NCPD scanner hustles in Santo Domingo. And we also did, and the achievement for this mission that I was the last one I got, was for Westbrook. A little Tokyo, complete all gigs and NCPD scanner hustles in Westbrook. I assume, because it says gigs and stuff, the reason why I did not get... Um, this year is because I still have the missions. Like I did all the 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 NCT, NCPD scanner hustles, but I did not do any of the I did not do all the um, gigs here because I said I don't like the Padre missions because they are, um, yeah, role play wise they are kind of against my character often. I think and there wouldn't be missions that I would be doing. Maybe I do them anyway at some point because just to have them done it. But whatever. So where are we, chat? We are here. I need to go 
Yeah, we still have a mission. Let's go there. On our way, there is a depot, which I will totally overlook. CD Projekt Red should make some big event on 20th of August. Is 20th of August some anniversary for them? I have to admit, I'm not very good with dates. No. I like these um, umbrellas, so they look kind of cool. Oh, it's the exact day of Arasaka tower bombing by Johnny, 20th of August. Okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. It's funny, I can stand on this and slide down. Uh, why is this not a... I don't fully get it. There should be a um, thing, but maybe... I'm wrong. We sell all the stuff to get a bunch of money. Because I'm still, I wouldn't say short on money. Probably an overstatement, but... I need money more than, uh, or... Oh, we don't have, it has not enough money here. But luckily, here's a second one. I accidentally, yeah, here, this, this thing, maybe they overlooked. That's why it's the mod. Uh, the mod is not working. The mod is still there. Then we have these career mission mod, which is kind of cool. We have a bunch of clothes that we don't need. Yeah, we are 600k rich again. I mean, I could also just add some money using a mod, but whatever. <laughs> I love that umbrella. Yeah, I think City to make a good money balance. Like in other games, in late game, you um, can buy everything. Yeah, that's kind of true. So on the on one side I agree, on the other side when you are like level 50 and have completed the game it always feels also good if you can just buy everything and feel like yeah I'm now, you know, I made it big, if that makes sense. I have a rain just, oh that was not stopping. This guy's in the way. Very curious where we are going right now. I like the rain though in this game, it just looks so good. What is going on here? It's 400 meters from here. Who, are, who is this person? 
Let's show him my tranquilizer stick. Who are you? Some guard, okay. No, oh, here I knocked the other guy out. Nothing personal, I think, yet. If I find out that you guys did terrible things to people, then it becomes, of course, something personal. Who are you exactly? Veteran guard. Did we see another person here? Yeah, that is true. Like, um, it would be cool if you could have like a company or something. I, I, I would have liked the option, maybe it's stupid, but to take over a uh, what was it called? Clouds, for example. Yeah, you, you write it in chat, right? Um, yeah, they could make it with clouds. There's a sense. I just could square red clouds somewhere in the chat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I fully agree with you there. Like in, wasn't it in GTA um, Vice City that you could also um, have have I don't know take over business over. Some some stuff like the the, the printing factory, wasn't there a pizza fact thing, and a strip club and so on in GTA Vice City that you could take over? Would have been cool if they um made something similar here. Oh, there was a hard cut from the rainy um um thing to the other one. Could just use this powerful mod here and see what's going on. Resident. Speaking of residents, let's just eat a burrito real quick. Where's my burrito collection? Here it is. Drink something healthy like this. Um, uh, what now you cool? I think the quest line could be remnants of this idea. Yeah, it might might be possible. Like, and I think the developers potentially thought about this, but. But having a business would be kind of cool, I agree. I mean, I'm a German, I like management games anyways. <laughs> Reported crime is over there. Neutralize. Who are you? The <laughs> race. Chat. This is a race. As if I would make even the effort.
I was already dead. Receive conversation. Donald Moore and Logan Mac Gowen. Let's see. Logan, Logan. Help. What's up? Found some sort sort of container. Opened it using the gen uh, the generator. There was this sort of boom, but I think I felt uh, I felt it more than I heard it. Don't feel so good. F was there a biotechnical logo on the container? Yeah, because a sonic shockwave secure measure. Why the uh, ever living F do you hook it up to your generator? I'm dizzy. I just I'll just sleep it off. No, don't go sleep. Don't go sleep. You won't wake up. Donnell. Okay. So what happened was he opened this generator. It looks kind of scary, I have to admit. Probably some developer Easter egg. Um, so he opened up a container somewhere. Question is, where? Now this is the container. They have like a, sh uh, a sonic wave, shock wave system. He triggered it, it's a securing system, and um, this killed him. Interesting. But Ray's always were pro problematic people, let's put it that way. Where's my burrito collection? <laughs> Funny how maybe um it's uh maybe I'm I'm German that's about like management games feels somewhat right yeah it's I know I think though could imagine that Polish people East European people and so on also like management games don't they rare item components and the micro vibration generator extremely loud and incredible close. Fitting title for this particular mission, I have to admit. So what happened is, he was a race, he opened this, he got shocked, his friends came to see, and I wiped the rest of them anyway. So that means though, in theory, that one of these guys here should have a name. Maybe? No, they just sent to random race. Also, I didn't loot somebody. Okay, next mission. Maybe here, chat. Okay, I, I have to admit though, I'm too lazy to 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 go all the way back. So these security people here had nothing to do. We'll just fly back because it just takes forever to walk this distance. Question Shadow, where's my car? Probably we despawned if we were too far away. It's my new theory here. Funny how far the car um, just spawned away. I'm not afraid of anything, you know? Oh, don't bug me, kid. It's a stereotype of Ordnung Mosania, kind of. And Eastern European is small, um, it just works. <laughs> So I have to admit, I also feel like I'm in some ways kind of a chaotic person for a German. Though I also 
can't jump over my my shadow at times. Of course, he had to do this. Über meinen Schatten springen ist like a German um, idiom. Maybe it doesn't exist in my. Okay, I just translated the German idiom into English and hope it would exist there as well. I'm not even sure if I used the idiom right, to be fair. But yeah, I just said I can't jump over my shadow because the shadow is always part of me. So it's, I don't know, having some kind of order thing going on. <laughs> even though I'm maybe very... Uh, yeah, what do you call it? Atypical for a German? But it's kind of a phrase that expresses that um, I can't, you can't jump over your shadow, so of course I can't do this as well. It's part of me, if that makes sense. Actually, kind of a cool item now, thinking of it. Who are these people? Veteran guard, no affiliation. So I ne don't necessarily want to kill all of them. A good start. The problem is it's always kind of difficult to get this uh, going. Medic. It's not her. It's a man. Oh god, for real, the last person kills me. Uh, yeah, I like it. That's pretty uh, interesting. I thought this might exist in English as well. It was a hard hit. Okay, we got it. I also see some... Um, some uh, Jungian? A connection with the dark side of one's personality. And with being German, it gets somehow, you know... <laughs> yeah, it's, I guess... It's everyone's um, on the dark side, I guess. This is a person. And I don't sure why. Person was shot or killed. Okay, this person has seen better times. 
target for elimination. Your technical services employee Steve Harrington has been accused of misappropriating significant quantities of CHOOH2. Harrington first stole the resources, then sold them without authorization to criminal organizations such as the Band of Nomen Outlaws, referred to as Wraith. According to the judgment of the Ninth City Court of Appeals, Steve Harrington has been found guilty of these allegations. Code 3138-11. Corporate property misappropriation and illegal, illegal resale, which carries a sentence of death. Well. That's in my opinion a bit drastic for theft, but... Skill engineering. Let's read this here. Steve Herring, let's meet at Bray, Bray Street. I'll have an old fuel pipe, should work. Show how you hook it up. Winston Stack, good boy. Just bring the ads and try to attract any... Uh, and try to try to attract any attention on the way. Yeah, yeah, on the move. Okay, so the, he met, he was found, they had the order to kill him. So in a way, even though I don't agree with it, they just did their job here, it, it seems to me. So I can't really complain too much. It was not like, I mean, in, in the actually sold stuff. So they were kind of in the right. Though, the, the question that I have in this context is the following. They only were supposed to kill one person. Why are all the other persons here dead? Other now looking at them, they look like um, eight, like six street gang people. He does not. I assume this is the um, person that Mr. Harrington, I think was the name. 666 Street. Yeah, that's the 6th Street people. So they wanted to... I assume, okay, so he sold the stuff to the 6th Street, the 6th Street came, and then these guys came and shot everyone. I think case closed. We only have two things that I should loot. Oh, here, we also tranquilized this tomb here. He's still alive, that's good. Ah, Yang. Jung. Jung Yin. From Carl Jung. Okay. Oh, we are relatively close to another encounter here. Let's go there. It is off-road. That means we get good old Kusanagi. Yes, by the way, the, the sprinter I modded in. And we have... This thing just spawned in front of me. So oh, funny. Once we activate our real thing, there's some loot. <laughs> Good old high dagger. Would Let's say maybe a little bit, but not that 
much to be fair. I could imagine that some some stuff might be then uh, difficult to uh, in, when it comes to translations. Why does this road show me something like go over there? Well, we have to go up there, it seems. I was just following the line on the map. Didn't notice that it's up here. Yeah, nobody sees us coming or heard us a mile away. No, no, no. Race? Militech. Also not terrible people. <laughs> I'm too lazy to learn one language. Well, in... The, the the tech is I'm I'm from Germany, so of course I understand what you write. But uh, usually I stream in English, so I, if you don't mind, I answer in English. But it's less about uh, my proud of the English skills. It's more about kind of it's a how to explain. The main channel stuff is in I, I, I do in English, so a lot of my viewers are English speaking or international. Aber natürlich könnte ich auch auf Deutsch antworten, das wäre also kein Problem. But since uh, my good old friend Birchman here in chat, he does not speak German, he would be kind of impolite. Also, welcome. Oh. How do we get rid of this weapon? What was the button for, for it? So this is a weapon you can pick up. It's pretty cool. I really like the sound of it. Ah, switching. Just changed to another. Okay, thank you. I always press Q or something and hope that this does the trick. We got everything right, so we only have to read the conversation here. Extended Berserk, complete the mission and check what's going on here. Henry Montana Lewis, what? You must be joking. Uh, wouldn't even take the job local for a sum like that, much less on a FN location. Think you got your asses mixed up uh, with your elbows from all the implant ops. Hey, chill, man. We play more. Uh, we pay more. His name is so long that I always lose a line. <laughs> yeah, well, if you want uh, the best ripper this side of the of the NUSA, more means triple that. Deal. Maelstrom. I always say Maelstrom or something like this. Maelstrom. Strom. Whatever. However it's pronounced, always pays in full. Eddies are one thing, but I want my own clinic and gear, and you got to take care of it. Uh, not about to drag all that shit with me. Sure thing. 
we sent you someone to get your across the border. Okay, but I want a pro. Only work with the best. Yeah, I know. So Josh Lucas seems to provide some stuff here. He's from the from Maelstrom. Chillman Henry Montana Lewis. Must be joking. You're doing the job for okay. Why is Militech here though? Yeah, getting the gun is pretty awesome. I, f I fully agree with it, but usually, I, like your own gun um, works much, much better than uh, this. I th I'm not sure how how the gun, um, this big gun, is actually scaling. Ah, here's another um, thing here. This might give us more information on this mission. Um, Ned Lynch to Josh, Josh Lucas. All right, got him. Headed for the border. Should be in the in night city in two hours. Assume I live that long. Can't uh, can't stand this guy. Never even shuts up. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. You couldn't get any one in night city henry's a specialist neurovisual implants be really hard to find someone better yeah true does not sound like the guy for a maelstrom job yeah just be careful net heard militex upping their patrols in the boss so they wanted to bring him outside the border or something ah this is also a maelstrom car militex found them and then they died I, it's always unfortunate we can't do this. So, is he looking like Maelstorm? Yes, he is also looking like Maelstorm. Or this is a guy they tried to bring. No, this must be the other guy. This here looks not like Maelstorm person. So, this is, I assume, the dude. I wasn't sure if it was a woman or not. Mm, Alicaldo, or not Alicaldo, a Nomad car, is it? Or is this Maelstrom car? Also be race or something? Mm, I don't know. Uh oh, chat, my thing is gone. My, uh, with the radar, the map is gone, the mini-map. Must be a problem with the mod. You have to have a high body attribute to get um, the best of it. Oh, okay. When you think of it, um, they make their faces, uh, it feels somehow uncanny. Yeah, I agree, like... The, the some of the maelstrom stuff is really like these guys are seem actually kind of normal but we have seen the, the weirdest maelstrom people here ever maelstrom what are they pronounced okay chat what are we going to do next wondering if our german guest is still here in chat I don't want to be impolite as well, but it's a bit uh, difficult always to, to get this. Sometimes I have maybe only German viewers or so, then I could in theory speak German or a bit of it. Also don't mind if people ask questions or do stuff in German in chat. If they are not that comfortable writing English all the time, as long as they understand what I'm saying. I overlooked, I didn't loot somebody chat. I mean, it's potentially just like a burrito or something, but... Who did I not loot? Not him, him. Okay. We can sell this at least. 
Oops. Lost my stash. That's a funny bug because I parked in the brushes here. It blocks my um, get into the motorcycle prompt. Like here it works. There is one somewhere here as well. Here it was. Where do we go next, by the way? We are here. Maybe down there, because it looks also kind of off-road. I guess in one of the gigs there is some things about the splitting of eye nerves. Oh. I mean, you also, it's already strange when, when V at the beginning of the game gets his eye removed and replaced by a new Kuroshi eye by Vic. We have a, Houston, we have a problem. I think I need to get um, up there somehow. Like the weirdest position for a mission ever. How do I how am I supposed to get up there? I mean, I could just fly up to be fair using a, our no clip mod, but okay, it seems like this is the way. These rocks, by the way, also can be destroyed, which I find kind of funny that this works. But not all rocks can be destroyed like that. That was not something I planned on doing. I just was wondering, who is this person over there? Ryan Baxter. Why does he have a name chat? Bonk. Who's Ryan Baxter? Ryan Baxter and Kason Hess. Okay, Ryan Baxter, well, they're asking about you. Who? Some solo types, nasty effers, said you stole from a corpo downtown. Have you? What? Never. Where you at? Yo, where are you, Ryan? F off. I won't... Eh? I won't fall for that. Okay, he's not trusting Kason. I won't fall for that. Please, Jim, they F uh, me up if you don't tell me. And it says later. It also seems like he has a problem with his car. I'm not sure what's going on here exactly. This is the mission with Judy, by the way, right? This is the um, we, we Dive mission. With the underwater thing. Speaking of we dive mission, we need a new motorcycle. Oh, there is one. The stash. Uh, it gets into body horror, horror stuff. I mean, thinking of it as a concept is one thing, but when you think about how um, it would feel real life, it's unpleasant. Also, Golden Baseball is my favorite weapon, yeah. 
I kind of like it as well, especially if I want to trank just tranquilize somebody. I'm not sure what Mr. Baxter just uh, did to deserve to be falling down. It's just strange that he has like a conversation going on. So maybe there's a follow-up quest that I just ruined. Zeta Tech Valgus A race My inventory is gone again it looks, is this like an attack helicopter or something? Like he's already saying, yeah, I don't torture you. That's why I don't like these people. But this part of this conversation has to be even done. I already see as a problem. Also, my inventory is gone again. Look at this thing. It looks really like an attack helicopter. And it also has a rocket thing behind, it seems. Some common stuff. Some of that bounce pack. Let's see what we get here. They found us, tracked us down. Wait, Michael, uh, M Michael, not Michael, and Marley Anderson, Michael Marcinkowski. They track. Uh, they found us. They tracked us down. How the f uh, they do that? Big Pete had that Militech cloaking up. Bullshit. He did. They marked us. We got uh, so-called drones on your a on our, on our, <laughs> on our ass. Well, just try and get across the border. Shit. Shit. Told you to dump this uh, hunk of junk. Shit's older than you are. Wow. Ouch. Just focus. Keeping flying. We are hit. We are going down. Uh, they're not happy with it. Mike? Mike, answer me, hello? Oh, F, we survived. Holy shit, Tom pissed himself. Well, we got a, uh, we go down hard. And the cargo sent, uh, sent someone there, picks up, most of it seems fine. The question is... So they, they crashed. They stole this potentially old flying vehicle. And then either the race appeared and found them first, or they are part of the race. If this is the case, though, we should find um, maybe a corpse or so with a name. Yeah, this is Michael Makovsky. So they, are, they were raised, they survived, and um, they, unfortunately they found me. So they crash landed, the race sent people there, they want to get over the border with this. Okay, my inventory is bugged again. That's I'm not the hugest fan of. I just reload really quick. That fixes usually the bug with um, the stuff.
Let us see. <laughs> There's a thing again. Pretty awesome. Hope I didn't hit my motorcycle by accident, but whatever. It doesn't matter too much. I think we got everything right, chat. There's only some light. There's nothing I can hack here in this vehicle. Okay, here we overlook. No, that's the weapon. Well, that's basically it. Next mission chat. Here is... Here we have two of those. I would maybe go this way instead of this way. We could also go here. The problem is I can't get around here. Well, <laughs> it's kind of work. Uh, this seems like a bit uh, when in the city nearby mine there was an old Russian tank, a T-34 it was. It was standing as a monument, but one day some drunk man decided he would like to drive it. And well, this is like something from GTA. Amazing how he started a 50 year old tank and worked just like it would be parked there yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But isn't it dangerous if, like, um, a drunk man drives a tank around your town? But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Ooh, half his head is missing. This game is really brutal at times. Why do I have always this weapon in my hand? So who is she? Race Devil, okay. Fitting name for the race, to be fair. Who 
Who's this? Let's loot the stuff first. Shotgun. Here we have somebody. Okay, this. Why do they have these scary masks on? I mean, they're race or something. Sniper thing. This, she looks like Sixth Street or something. I don't get it. No, this was not a race. This here was a race, though. Hey, yeah, this is Sixth Street. I'm right. There's a Sixth Street van, so that makes sense. I guess it seems like a Polish thing. He decided to do it, and he did it uh, safely. I think he just drove around a bit before the police caught him. And so I guess these annoying race people and these annoying um, other people. Oh, this car here kind of crashed. This has seen better times. Look at this. It also has this spinning thing here. It looks cool. Now nah, here. Chat. We are f inventory is full and this place is a bit difficult to um, sell stuff. We get some cash and see what was going on. Was this a 6th street camp or was this a race camp? Archive conversation. Robert Conrad and Dominic Brandis. Yeah, I, uh, Robert Conrad says, yeah, I'm here. Grab a crew right out to the Badlands. Send the courts in a sack. What happened? Raffin, that our race, jumped a transport from K um, Kendachi. You got to get those implants back or we are effed. All right. I'm on it, man. So they just fought and it seems the race won in, at the end. Orton. Yeah, it seems like there was like a, heft, a heavy firefight or something going on here. Interesting. Did we overlook something? Yes, a component. Yeah. Else we got everything. Let's get our motorcycle back. I also need to reload this weapon here, by the way. Just in case. Like a few months ago, there was a thing um, when a guy just got into a tram, is the right word, this like train rail bus like thing, yeah, and drove on a line like a normal driver would do, getting passengers and all. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Who is this? Militech. Do we like Militech people? Surrender immediately. 
Only die here. Didn't see that this guy is there. That's why I don't kill them instantly. That's what you get. Why do these guys always have to hit so hard? Okay, we got them. These guys hit so hard at times. So scary always. And on this... I think we play on, on, on the highest difficulty here. So that's why... We always eat a lot of... Oh, we have 51 hot dogs. Dog. Can't say that like... The English or the American people can... Dog, something like this. Okay. Archive conversation Martha Liu and Dakota Smith. Dakota Smith is a fixer, of course. We also worked for her and did all her um, side missions. She's here active in the Badlands. Uh, Martha Liu, well. Karubos in Night City, Padre says he is. Padre is another fixer, so they kind of know each other. It seems in one state or another, whatever that means. You want details, you have to pay. I'll find him myself. You shouldn't come back, someone will recognize you, and that's it. I'll be fine. And I won't uh, let the bastard get away. Karubos got to die for what he did to me and my family. Drop it, it's not worth it. You don't know what you are talking about. You might be surprised. So Dakota won't... Uh, her. The... forgot the name again. Martha. And she didn't listen. And then Militech got her and she got killed. Classic. Plus other people getting... Uh, killed in the process. So... I don't know who you guys are. You can't just kill, um, you have so many casualties. Like. Oh, it was wrong. I didn't want to eat. I wanted to um, get rid of stuff. Like, I really need to get rid of uh, inventory a bit. You could start a gas station with this. Uh, you, uh, you should see my collection of um, packs of cards. Could start a casino or something like that. Militech is like the uh, official uh, US Army. I think they are more a private military um, company with some other um, things going on. In my, in my mind, they are basically like Arasaka, just called Militech. I guess um, a Polish one. I'm not sure if hot dogs in gas stations is a thing outside Poland. I think it is possible. I, I definitely could imagine you can get hot dogs in uh, gas stations. We encountered an isolated woman during a routine patrol. The woman seemed to pose a threat. When we requested her documents, the woman made a short, quick movement with her hand. I was forced to react quickly uh, in defense of both myself and my fellow officer. I fired one shot at the woman. The woman was fatally wounded. She was found to be armed and my decision to shoot justified. So they made, made up a reason for that. A reason you made up. Nobody believes you that she made a move with her hand. So scary. Like how, how the heads wobble. What, what, the question is, why are the other people dead then? And not only the woman. Like, there should be one dead woman, and that's it. And then I would... I mean, I still wouldn't believe you guys, but <laughs> come on.
Did we overlook somebody? Is for sure somebody in the uh, in the brushes here somewhere. I've, I keep shot and forgot about it. Well, whatever. Because we, of course, never want that uh, somebody lives to tell the story. Also, I forgot where my motorcycle is parked. Oh, over there it is. Hmm, very unfortunate, Martha. But yeah, I found that melee tech is also a terrible people. I mean, also some police people are terrible. It's not like that, but... Like, in the game, are a lot of terrible people. Okay, here we have two more. Two point something kilometers. You know what? We could... Oh, that's a button. Uh, we could get our our uh, Javelina, which is really good car for going off road and so on. Not always. Sometimes the motorcycle is still better. What I mean with sometimes the motorcycle is better when there's a lot of stuff there and you have to move. And this thing is relatively fast and I think it has the best handling in the game, or the default handling in the game for a car. This thing is like absolutely insane. Here's a shop, that's funny. And Arasaka being Japanese, it reminds me summer of Samsung. It's like a big corporation basically ruling South Korea. Yeah. by yourself I I am now yes uh, they all uh, they're all gone no one left uh, are you, you bu buying anything if not leave me in peace what do you trade in uh, various items uh, please uh, pl please have a look What is this chat? Brake fluid? I think I have never seen brake fluid in this game, so we just buy one. Flare? NUSA map. Not sure if I have this yet in my collection. A mess kit? You really have some unusual stuff. Crafting spec or some weapon stuff. The ritual bowl, I have some of those, I know that. The records I have. Medical thing. Interesting. Let's just buy a bunch of junk, which we don't need. Thinking of it, what is this? Torn fishnets? I've never seen those also as a junk item. Shortwave transmitter, same with that. We found some rare stuff here. Junk item wise. What does he want for this 7k? Speaking of K, we could just sell them all our weapons that we don't want. We 
can't complain with that deal, I feel. He even grilled something here. Look at this. What I like when you open this at this thing here comes out. It's kind of cool. Open stash. Let's just um, check our junk items really quick. We have hair. Yeah, so we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think we have a leather thing. Moldering iron. PCB. I think I have those already. I think I also have flares. Poker chip. Broken eye implant. We have one of those as well. That brake fluid. Handles. A bullet pendant. That's, that w d doesn't V have a bullet pendant? From the um, from the story thing. The rest I think we have. Hanafuda cards? Okay, th those are also new to me. Yeah. After COVID we learned we shouldn't sell the um disinfection stuff. Oh, we have six of those already. I'm just curious if I have... Like, we didn't find a shortwave transmitter. Hear that crackling? That's a hundred years of nostalgia right there. We have a souvenir license plate. Shard with uh, lower symbols. We already have a mess kit. We had one. I'm just curious if I've, like, here, these torn fish nets we slip on, tear off, disposable fashion is all the rage. Yeah, these PCB things we have a few times. Silver watch. And kind of some, there's some rare junk. We have only one ritual ball, though. Pyromancer's 3000? Uh, 3000? What, what was that? Okay, the U NUSA map we didn't have. That was new as well. We have, though, hair, hair gel, gel, however it's pronounced, hair gel in German. Um, also, I, I think I placed two here. Yeah, brake fluid doubles uh, doubles as a pretty decent poison. Interesting. Bloody bandage. Yeah, we've we got quite a few of weird items here. I kind of tried to get all, almost all the stuff that there is in the game. These stuff, things here we have already. Yeah, we have five of those, so no more fans here. Oh, oh we didn't have candles. No, we have six candles, okay. That's kind of fascinating. So this guy had some very unique junk that we haven't found yet. And I basically picked up almost everything that's lying around in this game. Hey chat, we have to end soon. Because I'm getting insanely tired. There's so many references in this game. Oh, 
what is going on here? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, it's a bad sign when everybody around you just drops dead to the ground. Floor. Milli tank. Not like I really feel like protecting melee tech people, but it seems like they Kind of funny, this thing. <laughs> I have to admit, it was kind of fun. Here's the stay back zone. Trespassing strictly forbidden. No, oh, there's somebody. Race? Race. Come on. Just want to talk. <laughs> Just want to talk. We have to start selling stuff soon. Did we kill them? That's fun. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Can't see what I'm picking up anymore. The reason for that is, yeah, my hut is vanished. I don't know why this mod causes this at times. I have a basically a um, hot hotkey for for getting rid of the of the HUD for the user interface and sometimes it I assume turns off the, the thing even though I didn't press the button for it let's check the conversation here Archive conversation. George Prosky. Heard a rumor, you gotta check it out. One of the drilling platforms in the Badlands isn't complete junk yet. If the source hasn't dried up and we can flush some of the old shit out, could get some decent oil out of there. Go to this address, location unavailable, and check it out. Just no ass dragging. Get it done quick. Gun. Ich 
It's not like we will leave any wraith here uh, alive. Okay, chat, we got this. Is it possible that my um, truck... No, the truck did not despawn. That's good. Did we overlook something, chat? Only ammunition, I would even say. Sniper, I'm full. I think we have enough ammunition. We can just leave this here for bad times. Okay, there's just another one right behind us. something faster than this. Okay, let's get just rid of the police for the time being. For the police, thank you. Of the police, um, Bong. <laughs> of course, I hit it. Nobody heard this, so that's good. Who are those people? A race sniper. That's what we mean with they did terrible things to their face. Uh, we need to uh, we need to sell stuff, Chad. 
maybe also get some uh, stuff out of these here, but I really want to sell the higher stuff for money. A bloody knife. I shot two, two more. One was here at the computer, which we can check out. We can check our um, uh, our, our stock market stuff. Oh, we check this. We check this here again. Message. Okay, we got a spam mail, we got a file. Finances. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is certainly enough for me, of course, but what about my colleagues? Please send another package and quickly, or else I may begin to suspect you lack the requisite respect for the source California border control. Timothy Malik to Javier Fonseca. Come on, package is on its way. Timothy Malik to Javier. Okay, Javier. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, now do what you have to do during the next sandstorm. My people will stay on base, but stay on the route. We agreed you run into anyone who's not one of mine. I don't know you and you're on your own. So they basically allowed them to leave the stuff. He's was from border control or so. I have no idea. He sent another package. Package is on its way. Got it. Okay, now do what you have to do. The next sandstorm, people will stay in base. So the border patrol stays in base so they can do their stuff. That's basically right. Oh, we forgot to check the stock market. I'm pretty sure we lost. Oh, seven, minus 7% 7 and minus 2.5. That's not good. I think we missed the opportunity, but I didn't see a computer in quite some time, so that was not helpful for our endeavor here. Okay, Timothy Malik, everything's set up with Javier. So when do we move out? Ellen Parnell. Next sandstorm. Okay, well, all right. so next sandstorm. Javier will tell his people to return to their stations. So South California won't SoCal won't be in such a big problem. And you're sure? Hundred percent sure, he promised. We have a conversation. I don't fully really get this. Who is Alan Parnell? Do you have a name here? No, here are some race people. They kill anybody who is not us. Now, this is Timothy Malik, or was actually. Reaper smiles upon you. So Timothy Malek, Javier is at the border patrol. He sent him the package. He allowed him to go. He was still alive. We were actually responsible for his death. The end is near. Yeah, that sign was pretty true for at least our Malek friend here. So I assume this is like a secret tunnel or something. Interesting. Okay, 
Okay, this stuff here we got. And as you can see here, we have quite a lot. And I won't be able to complete uh, today. So I would say we go to the next selling thing because we have to go into this direction anywhere. Sell the stuff and then I call it a day. I mean, it's not about doing it differently, uh, doing another mission, but yeah, we really have to end the stream now. It's just too late. We have a problem. Our The place I want to go is maybe up there. We're looking forward to these random events they might add to the game. It would be pretty cool to see. But this car is so um, controllable. Else I would have hit the thing there. It's also relatively fast, to be fair. It's just 190 instead of 112 or whatever the highest speed with the other car is. It's a bit slower, but therefore it controls much better. It's a pretty good car. Though I have to admit... Um, Visually, the other cars, of course, more beautiful than this one here. So this is also kind of cool. My mistake. It was not bad. That was bad. Middle of nowhere. No, we don't want to take his job. Okay, selling stuff, Chad. Found so much stuff here. I think we can't even sell everything. Oh, 20k, that's quite a bit, not gonna lie. Now for this we would need fast travel. Why is this mini tech thing here? So I would say, as always, we return to V's apartment. That's potentially the best. It should be this. Huh. 
Okay. How much money do we have? 6.655k. That's good. Also, if we go to Stills Runner, oh, we killed quite a few people. <laughs> Forcible must be by driving or so. People hit with vehicle seven. But yeah, we got um, hero ten. Hero. Complete quests and gigs where innocent villains are at risk without allowing them to die. Yeah, we did this a few times. We ghosted quite a bit. We shadowed quite a bit. Complete quests and gigs without killing anybody. We also did this seven times. We need to do this ten times to get a free at perk point. I, I really like this stealth runner mod. Like, this is a really cool mod. Keeps track of stuff. You get um, additional um, points and so on. You get pickpocketing, which is kind of fun, which so we rarely use it. But it's such a cool mod, in my opinion. So yeah, our next mission here on the map will be like this area here has a ton of things still um, left for us to do. But we completed some of the other stuff here. This region here also seems to be pretty cleared by now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I'm seeing this correctly, we have like nine missions left that we can do maybe next time. Pretty awesome. Okay, Chad, I would say we do, as always, our hard save here, which will be save number 577. Here it is. And yeah, I hope you people uh, enjoyed the stream today, as always. I said currently let me just switch the, the screen here currently my stream my my twitch screen uh, twitch stream schedule is a bit off I have to admit oh, that's my mouse cursor let's quit the game in the background as well yeah, it's a bit off currently, so I don't stream as much as I would like to stream, if I'm completely honest. That is um, a bit unfortunate for my taste. I would like to stream like almost every day for a few hours. That is currently uh, not possible, though. Like I said, today I worked, well, from this perspective, now yesterday I worked a lot on the um, script. Getting pretty close to finishing the script, I think. Then I can just record it and edit it. Video might be, though, a bit longer again. So, like, half an hour or something like that. 25 minutes roundabout. But, yeah, it seems like more in the realm of um, half an hour, I think. And, as you can imagine, half an hour video just takes quite a bit to um, complete. So, there's that. For the other stuff, yeah, I also need to do something for the gaming channel, to be honest. But currently there were, was there was some news, but no news just jumped at me and said, oh yeah, I want to do a video about this. It was uh, more like, yeah, maybe interesting, but I don't know. Still, we have a ton of games to play. We When Baldur's Gate is fully released, um, I also might play this here a little bit on stream. I'm not sure how I will handle it, though. May we use it as a game that we play at times when I feel like it or so. So it might be a bit difficult to do so, considering how long it is and then you forget what you everything you did. But yeah, I don't know. It's we we have to figure something out there. We look into it for sure. Maybe make a video for the uh, for the um, gaming channel or so. 
short first impressions video. I'm not sure yet, but I think it will be pretty good. So is my first impression even needed here? I don't know, maybe. But of course, I also need to make content from this perspective. But yeah, looking forward to completing the law video so I can focus a bit more on gaming again after that. And of course, there will be more law videos. It's not like, like the last, but try to do this kind of switching in between. But the script just and um, writing and information and adding and just found out some, some details I had to change in the script and so on. Um, or edit, enter it. And this, as a result, takes a bit longer to make then. But yeah, um, Birchman, thank you for watching. Shout out to you, man. It was very nice having you here in chat and um, discussing a few things uh, with you and so on. I would say um, I wish you a fantastic rest of the day or a good night, wherever you are, whenever you watch this. If you watch this on YouTube, feel free to press the like button. Maybe leave a comment even. If you like games content, maybe check the games channel. If you like Tolkien-related law, a lot of the Rings content about the law and the background story of characters in the world and so on, check my main channel. There's stuff about this. And yeah, I don't know what will be the next video, but most likely the next law video on the main channel. So there's that. Again, thank you people for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.